y'all welcome back to another video i am deanna janae if you did not know and today we'll be doing a wash day so that i can get my hair ready to put some braids in um let me show y'all what i'm about to use we will be using design essentials um their blow dry and silk press collection this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner as you can see i have used this before i used this to straighten my hair back in december i'll insert a picture and um yeah so now we're gonna use it because i'm going to blow dry my hair so that i can get my hair ready to put braids in it so i hope y'all enjoy the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe all right y'all so jumping into this thing i'm just gonna take down this raggedy behind puff i know y'all seen me looking a mess when i first came on the video and i was trying to hurry up and talk real fast so i could hurry up and do my hair i had been wearing this puff for like a whole week and i just felt dusty and i look dusty so i'm just gonna go ahead and wet my hair and of course it takes a long time for my hair to get wet i think that's because i have low porosity hair um maybe i could do a porosity video one day so we can figure out what the porosity is in my head if you don't know what that means that just means it takes a little longer for your hair to get wet basically but that's not the correct scientific terms but anyways who cares i'm just wetting my hair till it's drenched so this is a shampoo and y'all i really love this shampoo and my hair really likes it as well it is not sticky but it's like very thick and rich and it foams up a whole lot i kind of just work it through and i detangle as i go so that my detangling process isn't so hard towards the end and i'm just gonna watch this half on camera right here so now i'm rinsing it out and as you can see it took me a little minute to get all of the suds and stuff out because i'm telling y'all this shampoo is so thick so of course i fast forward it and this is how my hair is looking after it has been washed i did do a trim so that's why it kind of looks a little choppy but um Here's the conditioner. I was definitely struggling with the bottle, trying to be cute on camera for y'all. But anyway, I just worked the conditioner in and the instructions say to leave the conditioner on your head for one to three minutes. So I basically leave the conditioner on my hair long enough to detangle my whole head. And as you can see, curls are popping just from this conditioner alone so i really enjoy using um this collection i actually want to um find some other design essentials products so if y'all know some really good products by this company definitely tag it down below so i can try it on my channel and in my hair because i just felt like my hair just was flourishing from using this I always love a product that makes my hair look real juicy and fluffy and that's what this does for me um, a lot of times a lot of products just kind of like sit on my hair but I was able to actually work this product in and I really enjoy that so this is what it looks like up close I'll turn around and like I said I had trimmed my hair so it's a it's still a little bit uneven but um it's okay <laughs> but so this is how my hair is looking from different views right here i have a little heat damage from trying to one curl my hair that i shouldn't have did and this is actually what my curls look like on this side but um i'm gonna just go ahead and rinse it out because i know it has been well over three minutes from me trying to detangle it Now y'all can't tell me my hair doesn't look good right here. And I know I'm struggling because I got so much water in my eyes. But just look at my hair. Like it looks like it had a moisturizing bath. Like the bottle says. 
Now this is part three to the collection. It is the blow dry and styling primer. You shake this bottle up and spray it on your hair before you get ready to blow dry it. And that's basically what I'm gonna do. The bottle instructs you to not oversaturate it. So just spray it and move on. Now this is my Red by Kiss blow dryer that I'm using with my comb attachment. My blow dry process is pretty much um, holding tension to my hair and just moving the blow dryer as slow as I can. Now the video is sped up so it does, I will be moving faster but um, I, I try to have tension and move kind of slow so that I can get a little bit of length to um, my blowout. And like I said, I'm doing I'm about to put some braids in. So I needed it to be stretched out as much as possible. Personally, I really like stretching my hair out before I do a protective style because it's just easier for me to manage my hair and it makes the process go by faster because I don't have to take so long trying to detangle and part my hair because of it being so tight and curled up. So this is what this section of hair looks like after it has been blow dried. Um, I forgot to tell y'all, but I always section my hair into four parts when I get ready to blow dry it. It just kind of helps me get everything out the way and just focus on one side at a time. I try to treat every section the same way. I'll do the same technique and try to blow dry it for the same amount of time so that one section isn't over um i want to say over processed but you know blown out more than the other and sometimes that does happen but i try not to and of course after i get done blow drying each section i put it in a braid so that it stays elongated instead of shrinking back up now right here in the front i know i said i only do four parts but when i get to the front i do split it into two when i get to the front sections but just because i feel like i can't really get the top half and the bottom half equally stretched if i were to blow dry this whole section all together it would look puffier than how i do it now it just helps me to get it more flat at the top ultimately that really doesn't matter unless i was finna straighten my hair after i blow dried it but I just try to continue blow drying how I normally blow dry anyway so it don't be so puffy. All right, so now I'm just doing the same thing on the other side, splitting this last section into two and slowly moving the blow dryer through it with some tension so that I can stretch it out as much as possible. Um, I pretty much alternate the heat settings on my blow dryer from the warm setting to the hot setting. Um, I'm not really crazy about, oh, I'm gonna get heat damage. Um, I think that's probably because I don't care that much, but I have been blow drying my hair like this for a while now and it does fine in my hair. So um, you just have to really know how much heat your hair can handle. Um, like I said, I've only heat damaged my hair one time, which was when I was trying to get my hair to one curl and I could not figure out how to get my hair to curl with a one curler. So I ended up burning the little section that I showed y'all earlier by my ear. It's like I was so determined to get my hair to curl with the wand curler that I really forgot that, hey, I keep putting heat on this one little section. So um, that's how I ended up doing that. But that is the only time I've heat damaged my hair. And I only straighten my hair maybe once or twice out of the year. Any other heat that I put on my hair is a blow dryer. All right, so now I'm just taking all of those braids out and just combing all of my hair all together. And I think I'm going to put the blow dryer on it again just to get it 
flatter in some parts i really didn't have to do that it was just me being extra looking at the overall appearance of my blowout it's like i said earlier i'd be wanting it to look just like a little flatter and not so poofy but i mean my hair is naturally gonna be poofy so i don't know why i'd be tripping but i'm running the blow dry through it just one more time all of the hair all together just to get it all flattened and that is it all right y'all that is the end of the video i hope y'all enjoyed it let me know what you want me to do next in the comments down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe always remember to be beautiful and stay blessed